If you think about it, um, there are millions of people throughout the world, certainly in tropical rainforest areas, that survive out of the meat that comes out of animals. Let's think about uh, just vertebrates, uh, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and, and birds. There's about 900 different species of vertebrates that are consumed throughout the world and about 1,000 insect species that are part of the diets of many people over there. So obviously there must be a link between sort of what people eat from the forest, from the fields, from their savannas, and their nutrition, the food security issues. And we know that, for example, in places like Africa, rural populations are very dependent on wild meat. And I mean wild meat, mostly mammal meat, uh, you know, rats, porcupines, dikers, antelopes, uh, and so on. So about 70 to 80% of the protein that these particular people eat comes from the forest. If you go to urban areas, obviously the amount that uh, people are eating, are consuming the wild meat, is much lower. But generally, we're talking about millions of people throughout a very vast region that are dependent on wild meat. On, on foods that come from the forest. It, it's very simple. The, the empty forest means that you've taken out all of the animals, or rather a very large proportion of the animals that actually provide meat for the people that are within these forests themselves. But th that also has consequences on the functioning of the forest itself, because a lot of the animals that people do eat are actually seed dispersers and are modifiers of the landscape itself. But like everything else, I mean, we, we can get to a point where we use the animals within the forest for our benefit in a sustainable manner. It doesn't mean that everything will have to become empty and that forests will not function uh, because we have ways nowadays of actually complementing the needs of people and the needs of wildlife themselves. So we have to be positive, and you know, we, we, let's talk about empty forests as something that could happen, but will not happen, because we ourselves, as, as scientists, communities, and politicians, will work together to make it better.